Hi everybody, uh, I'm home now. It's Saturday afternoon, so you're perched on the back of the van. I'll show you in a minute. It's got the carpet cleaner inside. It's got a reel um, and all of our window cleaning set up as well. So that is was all done for this week. So the first week back of the new year and uh, it was great to be back. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of our work is four six weekly and stuff like that so traditionally the start of January would always be a little bit quieter um, and the phone surely hasn't been ringing the same way like we still have our regulars which is a certain which is a big percent of our work but that probably wouldn't kick in until next week and the following week so there's always like a week 10 days at the start of January that goes a little bit quiet but I'm, uh, I suppose, and this is the whole point of me doing uh, this video to you, is that we've been absolutely out the door this week because we had a big construction company's offices to clean. So uh, inside cleaning, outside cleaning, um, as well as a few other different jobs. Uh, and that has taken us a couple of days to do. So that kept us going for Thursday and for Friday. Um, and again, because things at the start of next week, the regulars wouldn't have kicked in yet either. I did a Facebook post um, of some of the carpets and upholstery that we did at the end of December and just kind of did up a post that said, uh, you know, about we this is something we deal with some of the finest fabrics and these are the things that we've done and look how well things have come up and we've got already and i paid 10 euro for an ad on that post and we've already got about 300 euro for monday's work already got off of that one facebook post alone um but i suppose the big factory that we did we we're in another factory today which is a monthly account uh, which is always very handy and again there was a, a great benefit of getting that contract in the very start um, but the factory that we're doing that we did earlier this week uh, we got from cold calling and it was literally picking up the phone trying to talk to a manager and talking about what we do and about offering their services but the thing is is that that phone call was made to them over a year ago and it took them a year to come back to us um, but it just goes to show every bit of marketing and cold calling that you do, you don't know what kind of effect it's going to have. It might not get you work this week or next week, but there might be a quieter week in November or January or February when you just don't know when you're going to get that phone call. So that really brought us out the door. Um, so and again, next week, not this week, because I thought it was a bit too soon that people weren't back in the office quick enough, we're gonna start doing some cold calling as well. Not necessarily for next week's work, but you know, putting in that hard work for a, few, a future investment. Um, so yeah, so we've been really busy this week um, and just there's no magic sometimes to cold calling apart from you know, driving around, seeing places, getting the phone number and trying to talk to the person in charge. And again, the, the people that own that company have a massive mansion of a house and they want that done as well next week. So work comes from work as well as employees in the place and all that sort of jazz as well. Um, and I'm delighted, of course, with um, the Facebook ad. Uh, I suppose people say that Facebook doesn't work and don't get me wrong, sometimes we post Facebook posts and we get no work from it. But other times when work is a bit quieter, we can boost an ad and we can get loads of jobs from it. Um, but all of that is built on people seeing regular content from our Facebook page, um, sharing stuff uh, with our like stuff, coming up with a good story as well behind what you're doing, showing 50, 50 examples of carpets and stuff like that. But there I have another new thing. Um, and if I can get it out the van. What it is, is uh, a gunslinger. So I was given as a present uh, from Harry Turk this gunslinger and um, along with my Mormon pouch and I absolutely love the style. Um, it's so cool. And uh, to get it in the American flag um, uh, is just really 
tipped it off for me because I love all things America and uh, uh, it's big it's uh, it's big it's very loud um, but it is such a cool present and it's one of the best presents I've ever got so thanks very much Harry T for that and um, the only problem that I've had with it and they are sorting me out is they have had some problems in general with the gunslingers not every one of them but with some of them and um, uh, they've had problems especially with the American flag ones because what seems to happen is even though I have no water in this apart from a very dribble in the ends uh, it seems to come through uh, the seam at the bottom here and here that I've got a bit of a wet leg uh, from that so it's a shame for something that costs so much money to have problems from it um, I to be honest uh, I'd love to get this one repaired rather than have one that's not the American uh, colours. Um, I suppose uh, the, my, my only other thing about it, uh, I suppose if I'm being slightly critical, is that um, like there are loads of pockets for everything, but I suppose when you have more than one squeegee, like you can, you know, pop it in there, but again, that's a bit, kind of a bit loose. I suppose I'm used to the Mormon book around the belt where everything has its place. Um, and I suppose like the clip can get a bit caught pulling it out. So it kind of goes in there. But then that kind of shifts over. So if you have two in and they get a bit crisscross, it's just not as natural of a draw as what. But maybe that will come in time. Uh, I'm not completely sure. Or whether I could make a bit of a compartment inside to separate that into two. But I suppose the biggest issue at the moment is the leak. And uh, that's definitely not... That's definitely not good. Um so uh, that's the news at the moment uh, flat out and I am organising a carpet cleaning course um, because uh, I'm going over to the UK for it because I've never been on one before I've only been trained up by one of my employees that um, worked for a big company before and they had truck mounted systems and he was a dab hand at it so I kind of learned from him but I want to learn for myself and go on further courses for fine fabrics and things like that because I suppose we set ourselves up as you know kind of more top end of the market rather than going for bargain basement so it's good to again I'll put that all over Facebook that we're away on the CPD courses and stuff like that now it uh, it will cost a good bit of money between getting over to England, a um, hotel for four nights and uh, all that sort of, and the course itself. I probably won't have much change about, out of a thousand euro, but I suppose to know that even though I'm already doing a great job, I'm sure I can do a better job and I'm sure that will lead to more opportunities in itself. Um, I'll plaster it all over Facebook that we're you know fully trained and put the certification up uh, and then I'll put the certification up for fine fabric so you know you can trust us to you know with your expensive sofa and all that sort of uh, stuff so that's what uh, that's what's going down at the moment so I'm kind of researching that stuff for next month um, as well as uh, booking in stuff for this month so that's kind of my update uh, do you really want to see this messy van oh you do uh, trust me you don't like everything has just been thrown in that dun, 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 should have horror music on there um yeah so basically we were only going to the one factory and we were window cleaning so one person was window cleaning so i only put one reel in um uh, that is our hosing which i have to get a bigger box for because it doesn't fit i've just plonked that on top of there because i was talking to you um there is our carpet machine there and i actually bought a tiny little wet vac valentine machine in because in a few areas they wanted loads of carpets done and on other areas they just wanted like literally one square tile that had a coffee stain on it so rather than hump that uh, big machine through um, corridors and corridors of factory and up and down stairs uh, that's kind of like a very handy little machine just for a tiny little coffee stain um, so uh, yeah back to it again on Monday and uh, got this van to tidy up before I do anything else so Talk soon, guys. Thanks.